Rocket Pat here. All right, guys. All right, man. It's been a day or two. I've been taking a day off, uh, but I did get some work done. Guess my attitude was kind of getting a little rough there, and everything. I apologize to anybody that I may have offended with my bad attitude. Uh, you know, uh, Z gas that comes to mind right there, dude. Uh, I didn't mean to get in a big argument with you, dude. Uh, not at all. Uh, wasn't my intentions at all. But anyway, starting to work on this old wood for this 1947 Chevrolet pickem up truck. And, well, if you can see right there and all the way across, that wood was damaged during Har Hurricane Harvey. And, uh, because Mickey's, uh, shop got flooded and the wood was over there standing up on end behind his door now that's a test piece right there uh i did sand that out the only biggest problem is it's got a lot of checking going on at the end and there's some mildew and i didn't really get that out of there so anyway we're work working with the wood and that's a test i mean a uh, sneak peek of what that's going to look like come on man let me go show you because we've already got new wood for it let's go this way all right man it's so nice to have that bad boy up out of that corner uh got the vet sitting out got it moved around think about getting one of those lifts out and parking it over here now that i've gained a little access room so here is the new wood kit and i'm in the process of getting her all polyurethaned up getting the old helmsman helmsman we're gonna be a boat guy anyway that's the wood kit right there this is the back side this is the side you're gonna look at from if you're laying on the bottom side where I'm gonna be you know the, 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 the detailed side but I've got I don't know I guess what I did is I sanded this down with 80 grit and my DA and this is just straight polyurethane I put a coat on I waited about an hour now you're supposed to put a coat on wait till it's fully cured 8 to 12 hours sand it redo it but this is the bottom so what I just did was after about an hour it well you could pretty much touch it I mean it's gonna leave fingerprints or whatever I just piled on another because this is actually the end of a can I figured I'd get rid of it and put it on the back side it might take two days for this to fully cure out for me it's kind of humid I mean I guess cured enough that all I need to do now is be able to flip it and start working on the side that we're actually gonna see because I got to go 80 on this then I got to hit it with 180 then I got to hit it with 320 then I need to put polyurethane on it then I got to wait 24 hours well probably about 8 to 10 I could probably do that the next day uh, probably take about three days to get three good coats on this because I'll have to sand it with uh, 320 in between each coat and but I'm only really worried about between the where my fingers are right there uh, the chrome goes over here all right guys if you can see sheet metal for the 1969 frolic camper trailer that's a project coming on and I don't know if you can see that right in there, but Rusty's hollering for some attention in there, and I'm ready to give old Rusty a little bit of love now that I got that 1947 Chevrolet pickup up truck up out my way. We're going to start working on that 1939 Ford Coupe standard. All right, guys. Well, I've been rocking and rolling over here for a couple weeks. I've pretty much decided I'm taking the uh, a vacation. I got a few little jobs coming in and there. I'm not going to sweat whether or not I'm making a whole lot of money. But we're going to have a barbecue over here on the 4th of July. That's coming up in about a week tomorrow. So by then, I'll be able to show you one 1947 Chevrolet pick -em up truck fully assembled, ready to deliver it to the customer because that's what my goal is to get it done. Uh, I'm not going to show it to you now. I'm going to make you wait, give you all a little teaser here and everything. But anyway, guys, y'all keep rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking, and I'm going to keep grinding this bad boy down, and hopefully we'll be eating some good old-fashioned Texas barbecue come 4th of July. Talk to y'all next time. Y'all keep rocking.